And welcome back, everybody, here in Twitch chat, and also, if you're watching this, later on on YouTube, uh, for our next deck, which is going to be Golgari Graveyard. This was a 5-0 list from, uh, I think, J the January 31st um, updates of 5-0 lists on Magic Online. And this one looks pretty interesting. Um, I certainly really like Priest of Forgotten Gods. Uh, you know, it's a card that played quite a bit that I've just kind of always impressed with, and especially with Gutter Bones and Midnight Reaper. And we want some other good creatures to sacrifice, and Glowspore Shaman and Stitcher Supplier, especially Stitcher Supplier, fit that bill. So we are going to be self-milling um, as much as we can and uh, use our undergrowth mechanic with Izoni and uh, Molder Hulk and um, try to get a lot of value with those. You know, we're going to be chaining our Molder Hulks. This was like a, a kind of a popular, a semi-popular deck uh, before Ravnica Allegiance and... I think Gutter Bones and Priest could be really good additions to the deck, so um, let's go ahead and try that out. So, um, yeah, we'll see how this deck does. Golgari Graveyard. Your, yeah, Golgari Raiders is like a surprisingly good card. You know, like that's the kind of card that. Uh, looking at Golgari Raiders um, right away. Hmm. Looks like with this new update, they changed the profile. Because I should be Vivian. But looks like we're not. Anyway, uh, yeah, Golgari Raiders is the kind of card that definitely just glossed over and, you know, didn't really give it a second look when looking at constructed cards from Guilds of Ravnica. But it has been playing out well. Muldratha is kind of card that um, I certainly like Muldratha a whole lot. I really like the design of it. I think it's a, a really well designed card and a, a fun card to play. But um with that being said, it's also just, there's, it's kind of hard to have it uh, work perfectly for you. Um, you know, you have to have like six, you know, six mana card that you really need to untap with. Uh, it's kind of difficult to uh, take advantage of it. Yeah, so, Mac, that happens sometimes. So sometimes when you play a match, your opponent has an avatar, um, and then whenever you get to the, the game, you know, it's like the pairing part, it has an avatar, then when you get to the game, it has a different avatar. That happens when the person just has random avatar set. When it's random avatar, they just give you a random on, on both parts, both on the pairing and on, on this. Oh, that's... A, okay. Thank you, Damas. So, let me write that down so I remember that. Those two pens don't work too well. So is that a setting for on Chrome? Because, yeah, I, I use Chrome. So that's a setting on Chrome, not a setting on YouTube. Okay, so it's in Chrome. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, cool. Thanks. Yeah, I'll, I'll try it and test it out. Um... So I just built a, f a funny new standard deck. Uh, can I send you to know your thoughts? Yeah, sure, real. Yeah, you can, you can post it here. <laughs> Thanks, Fast Batman. You're cute as well. Uh, no, I don't. I don't. I don't think any of these decks need um, gruesome menagerie in the sideboard. Punch is willing to throw that Tempest Gin out there. Even though we have. Hmm. You know, like, we have, like, the ability to get back Chupacabra. I'm gonna get Playcrafter, though. Uh, because this turn I am. Yeah, I'm still. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna chupacabra this turn, but I want playcrafter for like a following turn in case of a dive down for a following turn. When you play wilderness reclamation and paper. Is the tap untap possible? I mean, the mana accumulation. Yes, absolutely. Yep. Yep, you get to... You know, you can put the trigger on the stack. It works exactly how it works in, in Arena here. You put the trigger on the stack, and you can respond to the trigger by tapping as many lands as you want to be able to add mana, and then let the trigger resolve, and then untap your lands. Well, Harpooner is awesome in this matchup. So we got Duress, Harpooner... I don't think I'm golden demising or anything else. I could see playing Rex Age to, to blow up um, Curious Obsession. I could certainly see doing that. Um, Izoni's coming out. Foragers. I know we can gain a good amount of life with Foragers, but that's just honestly not really that, that big a deal. We just need to kill all their stuff. Um, this is 63. I kind of like all of these cards. I could see not playing all the suppliers, but supplier makes other cards like Priest and Playcrafter better. Um, I'm not sure if we need all the fine finalities of Mulder Hulks. Like, Mulder Hulks don't kill their, their stuff. I'm going to trim Mulder Hulks. I'm going to trim two of those and one find. There you go. Thanks, real. That, that works better. Nexus of Gates. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Um. Yeah, looks looks very reasonable to me. Nothing. Nothing stands out or anything as... I mean, I guess the biggest thing is... I guess, yeah, one thing. You have two circuitous routes. That needs to be four circuitous routes. You should not play only two of that card. That card's too good to only play two of. You don't need... You probably don't need four search for Escanta. I think you can play three there. So that can get you a third circuitous route. Is taking out one search for Escanta. But you just gotta have four circuitous routes. That card's just awesome. Maybe taking out like an opt, also. Something like that. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't play the two ops. I would play a second expansion, and yeah, I would take out Ascanta and the two one Ascanta and the two ops, and play 
two more routes and one expansion. You just have to play four routes. Nice. Man ultimate that went five has gone five oh and five one in the Selesnia Singleton decks. Nice. I think our opponent disconnected. That's what it's looking like. It's looking like our opponent disconnected. Did I disconnect? I'm not sure why all the time has left my Twitch chat. That's kind of weird. You know, like there's, you know, usually says like the time, like over here on the Twitch chat. Y'all are still here, right? I mean, this is working. Okay, good. Any thoughts on Afterlife? Is it worth attempting to build a deck around with Tesa? I mean, it's certainly probably worth like trying out. Um, Afterlife has been has been better than I thought it would be um, in constructed. It's been it's pretty good. What's the best deck for Thief of Sanity? Um, likely Sultai. Right. Well, yeah, Ram, a real, I, I won't be playing the deck. I don't, I don't want to play a Wilderness Reclamation deck ever, so I won't, I won't be playing it. But yeah, if you, yeah, if you like, if you like the four surfaces, searches and everything, then stay with it. Oh, nice, Grayson. Uh, what's what's the place? No, Fleck. That I didn't like the the different version of Mardu there. It didn't feel so good. And thankfully, Spell Pierce dive down, all that kind of stuff. Can't protect from a playcrafter. Oh, that was a question. You were going to be passing through Dallas. Gotcha. And asking. All right, my bad. Um, Okay, good. I'd rather, you know, rather that get countered than, um, choops. Um, so the thing about Dallas is basically everywhere is good. Like, there's there's not anything anywhere, like, specific. And the other part about Dallas is it's huge, you know? Like, it's, like, 30 miles uh, in diameter, basically, from Dallas to the northern suburbs. Um where a lot of like where I'm used to being around. Um, so, you know, like that's just, it's such a, a big area that I don't know exactly, you know, like where you'll be and stuff. But honestly, the food is is better there than anywhere else that I've been. Um, just basically every single restaurant is really good. Just all the, like, you know, you just whatever generic restaurant you go on, you know, at whatever street corner, it's awesome. Um, 
I, I miss the Mexican food the most. Um, not a specific place because there's there's a bunch of them, but just in general, uh, the Mexican food is what I miss the most there. I think I'm gonna play Mulder Hulk this turn. I think Frostodon was banned before Arena, so y there wasn't. So no, you didn't get like wild cards when it was banned because it was banned before Arena. Um, King Toll, hit Alt-F4. Uh, Alt-F4 should allow you to, um, exit out of Arena and reopen it. I wish I knew how to actually build a proper deck. The lack of knowing how to sideboard keeps me from playing best of three. Um, I mean, that's that's just something you need to... I mean, you, you can't... Yeah, and so you're... Yeah, you're over best of one, but you want to play best of three. But you can't... Uh, you're not going to be able to side... You're not going to be able to build a perfect sideboard immediately. That's, you know, it's a trial and error kind of thing. So you, you just have to, you know... Jump into the fire. You have to just start playing best of three, and trying from there. Um, a very easy way to start um, with, like, a, something easy to kind of start with. Uh, um, best of three is just building a sideboard where focus on two things. Where you focus on the ends of the spectrum. Uh, have a lot of sideboard cards against uh, hyper aggro decks like mono red and stuff like that, and have a lot of sideboard cards against control and kind of work your way in from there. You know, if you don't know really what to put in your sideboard to start with, focus on the ends of the spectrum and, and kind of go in. Yeah, okay, if you don't have the cards for a sideboard, that's, yeah, that's certainly a, a different issue. Yeah, that's, that's an issue there. I guess I didn't play this too well of not being able to cast Glow Spore Shaman on turn two. Do you also badly want to see Voice of Resurgence and Skylasher reprinted in the next set with blue running around so much? Uh, they won't be reprinted. Uh, especially Especially voice resurgence, like that's there's not magic's mo to reprint mythics like that. Um, so yeah, I'm not not thinking that's going to be reprinted at all. But I don't think they need to be. I mean, everything's kind of beatable. The blue decks are certainly beatable. Oh, I need to play Supplier first. Dang it. That's just a little unfamiliar. Yeah, I need to play Supplier first so I could put the land on top. With Shaman. Because if I put the land, land on top with Shaman before Supplier, then I just mill it over. Well, I guess I'm going to mill it over anyway because I'm going to be chump blocking. So actually, it doesn't matter. Because I'm, I'm chump blocking with Stitcher Supplier anyway. At least that was my plan, but they sh shocked in. So they're just going to be playing Vivian here. Yeah, I mean, that's still my plan. Because I, I need to make the Mulder Hulk as cheap as possible. Yeah, that's the thing to do. You just got to jump in and start playing best of three. I've seen things that would break someone like you.
Hmm. I could just play Crafter here. And make them sack Wild Growth Walker. Or I can double... Double Molder Hulk. I guess it's just double Molder Hulk. Just gotta expand our mana. You can't stop nature. I wish I had one more, one more mana. I could double play crafter after the chump block here and get rid of Vivian there. So I'm getting Glow Spore Shaman as like my other, um, my other thing here because it's a two drop I can play right away. Do I want seven mana? Probably. A land's probably a better draw than something else. Yeah, let's just take the land. So we can shoot Come plus play crafter next turn or play cra or go gutter bones crafter crafter. Why did how did the auto Oh, cuz the first auto tap taps two green sources and then they had to use two green sources there. What if they have cast down? This is still, this is the safest play to make sure that we deal some kind of damage to Vivian. So even a cast down, they still they like cast down, block a six six, still take. Take some. All right, Vivian, out of there. Ha. I've seen worse. Just Chupacabra play crafter. I like saving the, the Chupacabra. No, I didn't see new attack all. Um, you, I didn't see that. Hey, IPD, thanks for subbing there, Twitch Prime. Thank you so much. Sub number four on the day. We're still kind of going a little backwards on subs. It's telling me 92 right now. Yeah, if that if that comes up, I'll have to I'll have to give it a try. That's that's nice. Okay, good. Went back to 91. All right. Um, let's 
Start attacking in. You have to run out of explore stuff eventually, right? You think so? We played a different version of Mardu Angels today, a list that was a 5 0 list, and didn't go very good. I mean, it's just, you know, lost four games. No, we don't have any gruesome menagerie. Lenmix, thank you so much for getting that sub in as well. Fifth sub of the day. Get some more hype in the channel. There we go. Thanks, Len. Basically letting them draw a lot of cards. Here are these Midnight Reapers. Um, I don't know which one I'm actually killing. Okay, the Reaper, good. Okay, what am I doing? All right, so I can certainly see finality happening. They are a Sultai deck? I didn't think they were a Sultai deck. They've gone through so many cards and hadn't seen a single blue source. Oh, they were just going to be Golgari. Okay. I don't like Under Underrealm Lich. Um, I just think there's better options at 5 mana, kind of all the time. Uh, yeah, I, just, I don't really like it too much as a card. It's unfortunate. I, I liked it whenever it's previewed and everything, but just the format, there's just better cards in the format. They have a bunch of Memorial to Follies. It's going to be kind of hard to get through the 40 points of damage before we mill out. Could certainly be challenging. <laughs> no, I, I don't. I actually never thought anybody that thought Spitflame was good. <laughs> yeah. I've been really frustrated with the, the internet stuff. I mean, it's like it, it worked before, 
Um, and it was working fine earlier, but like whenever I, I try to stream and upload, then the upload speeds just go away completely, basically, and it's, it's been really frustrating. attack. We got their battlefield kind of cleared, <clears throat> which is good. All right, we're gonna return one of these Molder Hulks and start chain chaining the Molder Hulks together again. So Molder Hulk put a the Folly back into play. Um. Get another Molder Hulk and Chupacabra. Kill that thing. I have more Chupacabras in here that we can continue to get with like the Memorial of Folly for uh, that Hydroid Crisis if that ever comes out. Yeah, we'll get the Izoni soon. Had a match against Sultai with your old Celestia Angels before both of us Vivian emblemed, and as a wall of angels staring down at 50 power and seven disgraces. <laughs> That's pretty good. I can't imagine they don't run Fine Finality, they just haven't found theirs yet. So yeah, we want to use the Memorial of Folly before we play Mulder Hulk so we can get the Folly back. We're at 28 cards in library. We have three fine finalities ourselves. We there, so there's one more in the deck. That's a dinosaur. Yeah, opponent has 26 cards left, and they haven't seen a... Like, they have this Hydro Crisis, but they have no blue mana, which is very weird. Um... Yeah, Gate Angel is too slow. Um, I mean, just Counter Magic is good against them. Uh, then Sweeper is, like, Deafening Clarion... Gates of Blaze. You definitely want to play the Ram. Uh, 
Um. So what are we doing against Sultai? Drill bit. Hmm. I think I like drill bit. I don't really want foragers, but I kind of like everything else though. Maybe one drill bit. I think I like all the rest of the stuff. Could maybe take out one gutter bones. Yeah, I can trim it. I can trim a gutter bones. And I think I like Drill Bit here because that they have like the creatures like Krasis and um, Carnage Tyrant, things like that that would be good to take. Um, even like taking like a Jade Light Ranger instead of just Duress. Deck's looking pretty good. Like I think our Mono Blue matchup is amazing. We played against Mono Blue the first game and it wasn't really... Uh, and I, I did not have a good hand the game too either, but it just was never really in question. Um... So I like our like our mono blue matchup a ton. Uh no Nana, I didn't see that. I don't I don't know who that is though. Certainly uh, point towards um, duress, though. These drill bits, looking like duress might would be a little better right here. But our opponent is missing land drop, so I can I can play crafter, and they have to sack wild growth walker. Do they just not do anything on turn two? They just attacked me for one. It's not telling me that they have Merfolk Branch Walker. That's the case. I'm still just going to cast this. Take a Jade Light. I have two Jade Lights? Come on. Let's take the first one. I have Find Finality to get him back to. I just can't kill the Llanowar Elf. I'd love to. Drill bit not being Duress is certainly worse for us. If these were just Duresses, it'd be a lot easier to cast them. And I could just take Fine Finality and Vivian, and it'd be really good for us. So, Drill bit has been much, much worse than duress would have been. Keeping Wild Growth Walker on top. Their plan is just a Wild Growth plus finality. Or plus find, I mean. on land. Really hoping we draw a land and we can finality and destroy this other land war elf. Oh my gosh. Deck, why are you doing this?
Good. That's what I want. That's what I wanted my opponent to play. So perfect. That worked out. Give me this back. Your statement was, in this deck, drill bit is to win more from behind or even. It's so bad. I don't know how it's win more. We were certainly behind or even there, and getting find finality out of their hand was awesome, and getting the other jade light too. But find finality, I don't, I don't see it. Like, how is it? I mean it. It costs a lot of mana. It really slowed us down, but I think it did did good work. Yeah, we, we got a Galta with the Singleton deck. I'm getting rid of one of the Midnight Reapers because I am worried about our life total. There we go. That's a good card. I'll help the Molder Hulk. I'm certainly attacking Every Vivian here. Balance comes. Let's go six here, one there. Let's do this again. Yeah, opponent has been, had some really tough mana both these games. They had they had so many basics for you know, it didn't seem like they had very much blue mana. This just puts us down to three. I probably should have sacked the Midnight Reaper. Yeah, I probably should have just sacked the Midnight Reaper. I guess Finality is Finality going to kill me. That was that was really bad. I need to sack Reaper. That's bad. Please don't Finality. They didn't finality last turn. I was gonna say like they could have done it last turn, but they played the two creatures out. Uh, Schnapps sub in for fourteen months. Thanks, thanks, Schnapps. Been here for a long time. I really do appreciate that. Um, sub num number six on the day, eighty nine overall. Welcome. Whew, that was a close one. That was a close one. But we did get to our next uh, sub goal during that match. So let's go ahead and get a pack. I'm getting packs of Rivals of Ixalan for right now. It's the set that I um, need the most rares from. And specifically, Storm the Vault is a card uh, that I'll be trying to open. Oh, darn. Not a Storm the Vault. We'll just have to settle for that uh, rare wild card, I suppose. And King Julian getting in on the party. Also, you're each there for the second month. Thanks, King Julian. 
So nice. Singleton Deckless, you went 5 0, 5 1, 0 1, 5 0, 5 0. That is really good. So you went uh, 20 and 1 with it? No, 20 and 2. 20 and 2? That is crazy good. Awesome. Ooh, we did get there. Yeah, we'll have to settle for that where the rare wild card. <laughs> All right, play first. I'll take it. Yeah, what color combination is green, white, and blue? That is called Bant. Hello. I need to change my avatar. I guess no priest for me. Living a little dangerously here with all these Midnight Reapers. Because, you know, they can turn a, a shock. Deals two to the Reaper and two to me. But we get to draw a lot of cards, and cards are good. Oh, yeah, good call. Thanks. I forgot about updating the decklist command. It's on my stream decker, but I didn't have it updated. There you go. Perfect. That's exactly what one of my opponents do, is to add mana with the Steamkin and have that thing die. It's Midnight Reaper. Why are you doing this? Yeah, we're playing Suicide Black, basically. Yeah, the Reapers are certainly going to be the cards we're going to sideboard out here. The eyeball on the card means that it's a it's a card that the opponent knows about. It's a revealed card. And we're down to seven. Not very much life. I wish I could just discard these Midnight Reapers and put them in the graveyard for Molder Hulk. If I attack with both the Gutter Bones, 
I think our opponent's just gonna block one. Um, block one, shoot the other, so we at least get to have a little bit of damage there. Yeah, I guess I could have chose not to add it back to my hand with fine finality. That's that's certainly true. Their hand was triple flame of Keld. Interesting. Lizoni's well, a really good draw. I guess not so good against Chain Whirler. Hmm. Oh well. They chain whirler this next turn. That's not them chain whirling in two turns when it does three to everything. No, this was a five zero list that we're playing here, so I didn't I didn't build the deck. But um, no, I didn't really consider lot with troll though. Of course, you know I didn't build it. But even with having it, I I don't think the lot with troll is a necessary card. Seven mana is is a whole lot. Um, I like how our mouse is like automatically showing crowd foragers. Like, yeah, we, I know, I want these crowd foragers. Uh, and we're taking out reapers. I oh, know the reapers weren't like too, too, too bad. Did get to draw lots of cards with them. Let's put in a couple duresses. I'm gonna take Izoni out. Um. Maybe one Izoni? Nah, maybe a trophy? Yeah, I'm gonna play a trophy. I think I like, you know, it's just another removal spell for like Steamkin or Chain Whirler that gets out of hand, or fl like if they're a Flame McKeld deck, I think having Assassin's Trophy on Flame McKeld is awesome. You know, like they discard their hand and then you trophy it. That's an unfortunate hand. Our, uh... Wait, our opponent's letting us go first? Interesting. Not gonna shock. Oh yeah, I was thinking Lotless Giant, I think. I guess that's that's the card that I was thinking of was Lotless Giant. I mean, I'm not putting a land back on top anyway. Hmm. Not the best cards to mill over, but I mean, we we do have Memorial to Folly, so. Certainly be better. Chain Oral is pretty good. There's the resolve all button. So we're gonna have to get like really fortunate here. We're gonna have to like draw something else to do here, no, we, which we didn't.
I want to cut some gutter bones. We got three three gutter bones for three crawl harpooners. I'm still keeping the creature count high, um, but they don't die to chain whirler immediately, so I'm gonna just play the harpooners instead. Hey DJ Polly B. Yeah, internet is a little fixed. Um, it has still been very frustrating, though. Uh, earlier wasn't, it wasn't working earlier, but it's back to working now, so. I don't know exactly what it is. Um, it seems like, like, I'm supposed to have, like, 30 upload speed, and I usually do, but it seems like the last couple days, like, like, I, it shows that I have 30 upload speed a lot, but then, um, uh, but then, like, when I'm, while streaming and everything, like, that upload speed can just, like, go away out of nowhere. And it's very frustrating. Hmm. We need some more black mana. So I'm certainly... I'm taking the other Molder Hulk. I'm, I'm certainly assuming we're going to have some more creatures die. I definitely uh, consider taking the... Um, the Shaman to be able to put the Swamp back on top. Looks like maybe I should have done that. Please don't get any more creatures. Ugh. Okay. I'm really glad they didn't play the Viachina Pyromancer. Yeah, Mardu Glass is going to be a, a Glass of the Guild Pack deck. Alright, have we found a, a Kral Foragers yet? We have not. Because we do have the Memorial to Folly. exactly sure why why our opponent didn't just play the Pyromancer last turn, but I'm certainly glad they didn't.
Hmm. Hopefully we're not dead. Yeah, that's only being at five. That's fine. A double coil? Uh, flame of Keld. Gross. I'm getting supplier to self mill. Yeah, you would have self milled there before. I, I probably should have before. Could have taken another self miller. Look for more foragers. Get a couple more looks at one. Really matter. Ugh. Flame Kell got us. All right, two and one. Never got to cast a foragers against Mono Red. That's sad. All right, the emotes, the new emotes are coming along. Getting some some sketches about them, saying that that I like them. Okay, what do we got? Plague Crafter. And I'm just going to sacrifice the Plague Crafter. Um, I think it's good to have the Plague Crafter in the graveyard for find finality in case we want to get that back. Oh, flips. What is this? Is this the first real deck you played? Is that what you're talking about, flips? Mm -hmm. Looks like the opponent's trying to decide which one to sacrifice, I, I assume. Unless some disconnection thing just happened there. Um... Hey, Orisonic, what's up? All right, Adanto Vanguards. I mean, if we get to six mana, finality is going to be really nice here. 
That, of course, is a, a big F. So if we, like, chump lock, chump lock with the two priests, um, we have three creatures in the graveyard, and then Molder Hulks cost six mana, which, of course, six mana is... Uh, still too much. There we go. That's a good draw. I guess maybe I shouldn't have blocked with Priest. Then I could have sacked Priest and Choop and made them and taken out a Vanguard. I should have taken Playcrafter because of Adanto the first fort. I should have just taken the Choop. I was thinking taking the, the three mana card because if we drew, drew another land, we can double spell with these two uh, next turn. That's That was my thought process there. How did they just not make a creature with Adanto? What are you doing over there, opponent? Yeah, we would need more creatures out for finality with like the priest activation. No, it would certainly be nice. So I guess like my very first block with a priest, I think ended did not end up working very well for us. Um I think I needed just to try to get to three creatures and then untap and finality. I think that's what I should have been uh, the most focused on. All right, let's get these golden demises in here. Rex ages, foragers. Um, Izoni is good if we can get to six mana with them being so creature based. Priest doesn't seem. So good. I need those play playcrafters just gonna be out. Yeah, I'm taking that thing out. Um, that gives me 63. Midnight Reaper isn't necessarily the best either. I'm gonna trim one Izoni, two Midnight Reaper. And go with this. Yeah, it's very disappointing that the new deck builder is worse than how it was, because the deck builder was like the worst part of Arena. And so it was getting updated, so I was all excited about that. And then they made it even worse. It's kind of unreal that the, that the deck builder could actually be worse than it was before. But it is. Yeah, Harpooner could take care of the Hawk. That's true. We saw them have Hawk. I don't think they'll have Aurelia, but yeah, they they definitely had Hawk um, to take out there. That's a that's a good point.
Well, yeah, not only the information um, not being there, it's still, it's still the sideboard takes up way too much room. It's hard to kind of have, like, take, like, a picture of, like, the deck and the, the deck list. But the biggest thing is um, none of that's the biggest problem. The biggest problem is now you can't even, you can't change your basic land anymore. So you, you have to play, like, these crabby Ixalan lands all the time. You can't adjust your basic land. Like they, like how is that? How do they mess that up? The resolve all button is very good. That was the that's that's very good. We're only making them sacrifice a 1-1, one, one, but we got to make them sacrifice something. I think this is still worth it, though, because we get to draw a card, and we get to put the gutter bones back in our hand uh, with that mana. But we have to we have to whittle down their creatures anyway for Priest. Yeah, they, they do have that, that with Cards with X. There's the plus five. I, I noticed that with March of the Multitudes earlier. There's a, a plus a plus and minus five button. I I don't think the update was good overall. I think that not changing the... the Being able to change the art of the lands is just much... Is a big downgrade compared to everything else. So I don't, I don't consider the upgrade a success. I think that's just a, a much worse thing than anything that was added to it. That's my own opinion, though. I really like changing arts. These things are just going to be one ones. Um, so I'm just going to keep Chupacabra back now. It's not really worth it to sacrifice Chupacabra and Gutter Bones to take out a one one. Especially with Hunted Witness. Basically, just not going to activate this priest. We're going to have to draw, you know, anything on our top end. Um, you know, even drawing a Molder Hulk will allow us to would allow us to put a Memorial to Folly back to be able to get Izonia back. Looks like Venerate Luxodon. Yeah, Golden Demise would be great. That'd be really good. Golden Demise would be really good. Nope, another land. So we struggled against the aggro decks. Uh, we lost to mono red and mono white. We looked really good against the other decks. Um, 
we also like we didn't draw very well against either deck, you know, so that was that was certainly a problem. You know, we didn't see a didn't see a sideboard card or anything like that. Um Like, I know a lot of y'all are saying that you really like the update. It's a big improvement. But this is... I'm just so disappointed by this. Um, this deck builder was... Like, how how it looks. It was really bad before. And I, I was so excited for this update because I thought it was going to be nice. But it's still just it's just not... Like, I'm, I'm flabbergasted that this, the sideboard is still so big. Y you know, like, that you can't... You can't make the deck bigger at all. I don't know. I'm just really disappointed by it. That this is still looking like this. Because I'm not expecting it to change again. And so, like how it was updated once, I'm not really expecting it to get updated again. And I'm sad. Um... So, yeah, so we lost the two aggro decks with mono red and mono white, which kind of makes sense. Like, Priest and, and Playcrafter aren't going to really help us out uh, in either of those matchups, and we, we did just kind of have a whole lot of Priest and Playcrafters there. Uh, Sideboard-wise, I, I didn't like the drill bits too much. Um, I think we could probably do something there. And I, I think we need we probably just need a little more in the sideboard against aggro. Um, Gold Demises would have been really good to, to draw, but of course we didn't. Uh, I feel like Foragers probably would have been good to draw, but we didn't draw those either. Even if we would have drawn a Foragers, though, that last turn against Mono White, we weren't going to be winning that. Uh, even with the Foragers, we would have just gained a little bit of life. Um, they would have been really good against against Red, though. Yeah, I think I'll play the deck again, but I, I do think we need to, to focus... I think this deck needs to be focused more on... Uh, the aggro decks in the sideboard because I think it's really good against the other decks for the most part. Um, I think this is this is a good deck against other mid range decks. I think this has a good Sultai matchup. We saw us uh, beat Sultai uh, pretty handily earlier. They did have Sultai did have mana troubles though, of course, against us. Um, but like and like our mono blue matchup was amazing. But like three Kral Harpooners, I don't think it's necessary. I think we can be fine against mono blue without all these crowd harpooners like maybe one or two but three is not three is too much i think we need more against red and white in here so yeah so there we go that's golgari graveyard that's uh that's i'm thinking about it though uh i think it does have I think it is good against a lot of the mid-range decks, and I think just a little bit of help in the sideboard against red and white uh, can certainly help you out there, because because a lot of these cards aren't very good in those matchups. Like, you know, against Chain Whirlers we saw earlier, Gutterbones, Supplier, Glow Spore, all just getting eaten up by Chain Whirler, Priest and Playcrafter isn't like helping against Mono White too much. Midnight Reaper, the life loss is is pretty tough. So like that's that's where you you need help with uh, with the deck, in my opinion. Um, Moment of Craving could be a, a... Yeah, you could probably fit that in the sideboard. You can't play, like, a, a ton of spells in the deck. Um, but there's probably some other, like, life gain stuff and just other other creatures that you could be playing for those matchups also. Um, all right, so if you're watching this later on on YouTube, um, one, thanks for watching, and I hope you hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you for the next video.